Juan Nicolón, a writer from Moriarty, and I'm applying for an O-1 visa so I can stay in the country and do some sketch comedy. <laughs> Unfortunately, things are not going very well. The U.S. government does not believe that I am an exceptional artist, a vital requirement for a O-1 visa, and uh, might kick me out of the country soon. <laughs> So, this show is going to showcase how much of an exceptional artist I am. Please, without further ado, <laughs> enjoy. Juan Nicolón presents, Moriarty presents, Juan Nicolón, an artist of merit. <laughs> Juan Nicolón production. Enjoy. Uh, here we are. <laughs> Just three dudes belaying their wives. Three men supporting the weight of their loved ones while they make some daring high altitude ascents. Guys, doesn't it feel great to be there and support your wife as she carefully breaks trail on a new route? Oh, hell yeah. Plus, <laughs> we got VIP tickets to the ass show, am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, can I, can I tell you something in confidence? Yeah. I feel like my wife doesn't need me to belay her. She's, she's such a good climber on her own. I feel like she just asked me to belay her so that I don't feel emasculated. <laughs> I know I put on a good man front, but inside, I'm just a boy who wants his girl to like him. No, man, what are you talking about? You are a well-respected, high-altitude climber. You've led some of the most daring ascents. I'm sure you fulfill all of your wife's climbing needs. Oh, I fulfill all my wife's needs, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, you have lots of sex with her? Oh, I don't know, Floyd. Why don't you ask her, who is Zhang now? so you don't fall to your dad. I'm sorry. I'll focus. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Right. Yeah. <sighs> Dudes, I'm cheating on Janet. <laughs> I was at base camp when I got that terrible case of pneumonia. It was with a hot nurse, and it's a really dumb thing, actually. I feel really fucking awful about it. Oh. I want to tell Janet, but I'm afraid if I do, she'll leave me. Uh, was it good? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But was it like, was it soft and tender, or was it like more on the rough side? Mm. <laughs> yeah, more rough, you know. Yeah, that's yeah. my thing. Mm. <laughs> Did uh, she have good knockers? Oh my God, great knockers, man! Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh my god. Solid sketch. Very good sketch. <laughs> Who wrote that sketch? <laughs> maybe, maybe an artist? <laughs> maybe, maybe, dare I say, an exceptional artist? <laughs> maybe uh, an exceptional artist completely deserving of a visa? I don't know. <laughs> Good job, Moriarty. Good job. <laughs> Great job. Bravo! <laughs> Um, do you, do you guys want to like talk about it or? There's nothing to talk about, Pam. We lost Family Feud because of you. <laughs> I'll never forget the way Steve Harvey looked at me with such pity in his eyes. That man couldn't even crack a joke and he is always on. <laughs> All we need all we needed was 17 points in fast money. But you can never seem to pull through for us, can you? I'm sorry, you guys, there was so much pressure. I couldn't think right. So think right, Pam, it's think straight. Jesus Christ, everything that comes out of your mouth is stupid. A great day to relax? I said Sunday. Number one answer. <laughs> But you said Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday? Survey says you're a fucking pig. <laughs> sorry, okay? Guys, I'm so sorry. Uh, re remind me what you said when he asked you to name a food you eat buttered. I don't, I don't want to. What was that? Speak up. I really want to hear you say it. I said, um, I said butter boo. Uh, but, 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 butter boo. That's not even a thing, Pam. <laughs> I hate you. Even if it were, it's, it sounds like it's already been buttered. Show me butter boo. <laughs> You did a great job on that first half, Bobby. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thanks, Ma. But your daughter is a complete idiot. We know. <sighs> you knew this was Grandma's last trip, and now it's ruined. <laughs> I have been holding out for this trip. <laughs> it was keeping me alive. <laughs> Okay, that's gotta count for something. Shut up, Butterboo! You know the real money's in the bonus round. You know that. Well, I'll make it up to you tomorrow. We get to play again tomorrow. <laughs> you think we're showing our faces here tomorrow? We're going home. Let us keep what's left of our dignity. But all of our luggage. Our plane tickets are for Sunday. We're gonna sell those tickets, Pam. This trip is not financial loss. <laughs> At least we had fun. Oh, you little fuck! Oh, Bob, watch the <laughs> <laughs> it's time to let go. Uh, One more thing. <gasps> Fuck you, Pam. <laughs> She's dead. Are you happy, Pamela? <laughs> There's a rest stop 15 miles from here. I think it'd be a really good time to part ways. What is that supposed to mean? You're just gonna leave me on the side of the road? Guys, I'm sorry, but it is just a game. Just a game? My mother's last words were, fuck you, Pam. Those will be my last words, too. Who wrote that sketch? <laughs> it wasn't me. I did contribute 
we had a couple of jokes <laughs> that uh, I think they got cut out because uh, they're not uh, very appropriate for American audiences <laughs> for being maybe too racist. <laughs> I don't know what else could be. Okay, it's good. It's good. You know, an exceptional artist has to learn to deal with rejection. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you guys realize I'm gonna get deported, right? <laughs> Sarah, you left your diary in the conference room. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yes, it's a, it's a Sarah Burton's diary, do not read. <laughs> I guess you're right! <laughs> okay, Sarah, just breathe. So Paulette has read my diary. Oh what? Who cares? I mean, she definitely told someone, <laughs> probably repeated it, and now the whole office is whispering about me. <laughs> oh, oh God, what if Paulette made copies? Um, hey Sarah, you think okay over there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey Paulette, real talk. How much of my diary did you read? None of it. I saw your name on the first page and I returned it. Cool, cool, cool. So you're a liar? <laughs> because I don't believe for one second that you didn't even scan through it. I wouldn't want to invade your privacy. When you find a diary, you read it and you publicly embarrass its author. Everybody wants to read secrets and expose them. Have you ever seen TV or a movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm betting that you already told Susan that the bakery didn't actually lose her birthday cake, but that I ate the whole thing in traffic. Yeah, Sarah, that. this is all news to me because I didn't read your diary and I promise I won't pass that on to her either. Oh. Thank you. You're really cool, Paulette. <laughs> hey, Paulette, you'll never guess what I just said. <laughs> what did you hear, Jeremy? <laughs> How far is news of my diary spread? Did you hear about that day that I wore the same pantsuit two days in a row so that the entire office might wonder about my wild night? Or did you read about <laughs> Did you read about April 5th? When yes, I tried dog food because I was curious. Uh pizza's in the break room? Free lunch. <laughs> dog food did you try? <laughs> you already know I ate half the can. <laughs> it's all out there now. <laughs> oh, Sarah, Sarah, even if someone did read your diary, you don't, you don't have to worry. It's gonna be okay. Paulette, you're right. I don't have to worry. We don't have any rules anymore. We're living post-secret diary. Hey, Robbie! Hey, Robbie! Hey, did you hear about all that long lit erotica I wrote about you? Yeah? Do you know what? I'm not ashamed. That was some of the most wonderful prose about soft skin that I've ever written. <laughs> and Trish! Hey Trish! Hi! Don't ignore me! Hi! I know you're just seething about March 17th, right? Because yeah, I threw out your chia seed yogurt and I didn't even try it. It just looked like it tasted gross. <laughs> do, do you only write about our co-workers? You people are the most interesting part of my life! <laughs> and you, Paulette. Oh boy, Paulette! <laughs> you must have had a field day reading my diary. You're basically the protagonist. Entry after entry about how stylishly you dress or how poised you are in meetings. You must be feeling Pretty high and mighty right about now, huh? I'm not feeling good about any of this. Oh, really? Yeah, I feel great! <laughs> Thank you, Paulette. Thank you for reading my diary. Okay, so you liberate me! I did not read your diary. I didn't do it. I don't know how many times I have to tell you. I know it was you, Fredo. <laughs> you broke my heart. You broke 
My heart. <laughs> Like a case of the blind leading the blind. Oh, just do your best. 
Okay, so we had dinner plans at 7 o'clock last night and then I get a text at 6.30 saying that he's not feeling well and he can't make it. What does that mean? That he needs to get a stomach ache. He's telling the truth! You you mean he wouldn't he would lie to me, right? Oh, uh, when I lie, I get grounded. I don't know what happens to adults. That's <laughs> <laughs> so wise, Jake. Uh, <laughs> so you don't think it's weird that like I've never met any of his friends? Um, maybe he doesn't have any friends. Mm. Wait, that's totally possible. And none of my friends really like him anyway, so but I mean I I just I mean even like his I I don't know guys, like I'm really, really upset about him and I mean even his ex-girlfriend, like I think he's still hung up on her. Why? Why do you think that? Don't ask oh, any more questions. That is such a good question. Thank you. We were walking down the street the other day and like he saw her and he let go of my hand and he wouldn't even introduce me and I had to introduce myself. He sounds like a big jerk. You don't even know him, that's not fair. Get out of here, Tim. What? what? You hurt me. Go to the principal's office now. Does anyone else feel the same way? No. Uh, Oh, now sit, sit, I'll write you a note. Everybody sit down. <laughs> my boyfriend is not a jerk, okay? I can't be alone at my age. I won't do it. Don't make me. He can't make you do anything. So should I break up with him? You can do whatever you want. Oh, so I shouldn't break up with him? What? Oh, my God. <laughs> It's so amazing. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Can, can we go now? Oh, of course. But first, your homework assignment. I hacked into my boyfriend's email account. Uh, it took a little longer than I thought because it turns out his password is not my name. As I thought it would be. So I need you to read through all of these emails and tell me if you think he's cheating on me. Okay? Oh, he uses AOL. <laughs> so please, please, please Let me, let me, let me Let me get what I want this time <laughs> So uh, our goal was to reach 1 million subscribers after six months. Unfortunately, we only got 700,000. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this is disappointing. It's, uh, um, uh... Are you okay, Brad? Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, I just realized that I, I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> <laughs> What could possibly have made you think that you're proud to be an American quite suddenly like that? Ah, uh, I, don't, I don't really know. Uh, it just kind of hit me, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really proud to be an American. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so uh, we don't have the subscribers that we wanted to, but um, our users that we do have stay logged on about two hours, which is double. Hey, Brad, I'm sorry. These numbers sound really great, but I just have something I need to say. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about how beautiful the American flag is. You, know? <laughs> you too? Yeah. I just can't get it out of my head. Uh, are, are you also proud to be an American? Oh, no, 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 not me. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am proud to be an American. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> awesome! Yes, it feels oh, so oh, good. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love you. We're in the middle of a very important meeting here. Okay, we are dangerously close to losing our jobs, and we have a team of very unhappy foreign investors coming by later today who don't live in this country, this proud, wonderful country where freedom of speech is our God-given right. And oh my God! Me. Oh, I mean, you're all lesbian, so... Okay! <laughs> Lesbians can be patriots, too! What? No way, really? Yeah, tons of, tons of lesbians are patriots, like Rosh Limbaugh! Oh, awesome! That's a good one. Guys, guys, we're getting off track. Oh, no, oh yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, <laughs> do you guys want to, uh, throw up the Declaration of Independence? <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? We couldn't. We're at work. We've work to do. No. 
not even 3 p.m. <laughs> okay, baby, just do it. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. 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 Sorry, Janet. Uh, what's up? Uh, Takashi Sakamura and Toshiaka Kawada are here to see you. Oh, shit, the is the best. Quick, change the street. Everybody, forget the machine to get it Mr. Sakamura, Mr. Kawada, it is very nice to see you. Uh, um, this is Brad. Uh, he's going to talk about some of the newest uh, developments. Oh, right. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, welcome. Uh, uh, so as you can see, we have uh, the numbers and graphs. And uh, we're, we're working on, on things. And oh, say can you see? By the dawn's early light. Ah. Brad, what the fuck are you doing? I'm so, <laughs> ah, I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm just too proud to be American. Oh, we're screwed. I'm so proud we we have <laughs> by the twilight. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> we are also proud to be American. <laughs> Japanese people can be proud to be American? Oh, yes, yes. Many Japanese people are proud to be American. Yes. Like Asa Akira or a Rush Limbaugh. Oh, no. Show. As you exit, please do not block the entrance.